Welcome to the OLV Daily Reflection for Thursday, June 25th. Today's Gospel reading has Jesus finishing the Sermon on the Mount. We have been meditating on this discourse for close to three weeks, and the final image used by Jesus summarizes how the Sermon on the Mount is supposed to help our lives as Christians. I'm now going to read the last six verses of the Sermon on the Mount from the seventh chapter of the Gospel of Matthew. Jesus said, Everyone who listens to these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise man who built his house on rock. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house, but it did not collapse. It had had been built solidly on rock. And everyone who listens to these words of mine but does not act on them will be like a fool who built his house on sand. The rain fell, the floods came, And the wind blew and buffeted the house, and it collapsed and was completely ruined. When Jesus finished these words, the crowds were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority and not as their scribes. I have talked about wisdom before in the daily reflections, but I believe this passage helps us to provide some more context to our understanding of wisdom. So the passage we heard, Jesus talks about the foundation built on stone versus a foundation built on sand. And again, this image helps us to understand the entirety of the Sermon on the Mount. The teachings that Jesus gave to them on the Mount, just like Moses had gave the people of Israel law from Mount Sinai, are meant to give us the ability to live a life that has a focus on our relationship with God. Moses gave the law so the people of Israel would have life and a life abundant with God. And Jesus does the same so that we would have the ability to build up and have a thriving relationship with God. So from the Beatitudes to Jesus teaching us to our Father, to the warnings about false teaching, the Sermon on the Mount gives us so much that we can act upon and put into practice so that we can strengthen our relationship with God. And when we have a strong relationship with God, our life is built on a strong foundation. When our lives do not have this strong relationship with God, our life is built on a shifting foundation that changes constantly. And the latter is especially true when we have a lot of difficulties happening in our lives. Because without the solid foundation of faith, hope, and love, it is very difficult to navigate the frustrations, challenges of this world. Therefore, the wisest persons that have existed in the world are the saints. Now, most of the canonized women and men would not be recognized by the secular world as being wise because the saints are not known for scientific advancements, economic theories, or historical significance. But for us as Catholics... These individuals, because of their faith, hope, and love, have not only followed the teachings of the Sermon on the Mount, but they have imitated Jesus Christ to the fullest of their ability. Thus, they have a life built on a solid foundation that helped them to endure so much in this world. In fact, they put their entire life in order in accordance with the Sermon on the Mount in the example of Jesus Christ. Now, the saints did not get off easy. In fact, many of the saints endured so much more than we could ever imagine. But it's because of the foundation, the strong foundation, that they had received through faith, they were able to endure so much. So as we continue with this week, let us pray that we can work towards developing the strong foundation in our lives that comes from following the teachings of Jesus Christ. Because again, if we continue down this path, we will find happiness and peace and stability that this world cannot provide, but only God can provide. Please be assured of my continued thoughts and prayers for all of you. Our Lady of Victory, pray for us.